Wait, so you're telling me that you and Greg Sharp were friends? Yeah. I mean, we still are, but I just haven't heard from him in a long time. To be honest, I actually didn't even know he became a singer. He's been our rival for about a year. How do you not know? Well, sorry to tell you, but I don't exactly follow your rankings. Well, aren't we snarky? Oh yeah, you're one to talk. Will you two just stop arguing for once, please? Don't worry guys, I got the phone. Is it really a big deal that I'm friends with him? Yes, it is. It means that you know about our enemy. You see, Greg is extremely secretive, and the press has nothing on him, not even where he grew up. He just kind of... appeared. With you knowing about him, we can use this to help us keep our rank. I don't get why you guys are freaking out. We've kept our ranking all by ourselves without using underhanded tricks. You're too honest, Rob. And you're too- Didn't I say to stop bickering? But- Yes, let's keep it civil, Elise. Oh, I'll give you civilized, you- Ah, do I need to separate you two? Hey, guys. Oh, you two? Um, what? No, 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 that was Elise's mom. Apparently someone has paid the press a lot of money to keep quiet and blow over the story on us. I mean, we haven't even been here a day and somebody found out we left, went into hiding, and then paid the press so we would come back. Who in the world would be crazy enough to do that? I don't know, but we have the weekend here and then we're being called back home. Welcome back. Who paid the press? Well, hello to you two. To answer your question, we have no idea. Well, let's get you back to your own homes. There's a driver for each of you who will take you back to your homes and help you in. You weren't kidding when you said you were Mr. Black's daughter. Wait, like, the owner of Black Records, Mr. Black? Yeah, that's my dad. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, after all those rude things that you said and did, Elise could have had your ass fired and replaced from the start. I would never- You don't hate me, right, Elise? You won't say anything to get my ass fired or anything like that, right? What? No! I, I don't like using my dad's power like that. Besides, it's not like you did anything that bad to me. <laughs> Didn't he yell at you when you were hiding from your company before all this started? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Owen. I'm not actually gonna do anything. Oh, we know. I just like teasing him. <clears throat> You may want to go to the cars. We pay the drivers, but that doesn't mean they won't make your ride a living hell. Uh, Alright then, I'm off. See you guys at work. Yeah, I better head out too. Peace. Bye. See you at school, Elise. Bye, guys. Elise, come on. Time to go home. Your father is working again, so he won't be home. <laughs> what else is new? Oh, and while you were away, Greg called. What? He did? Yes, he left a message. I don't understand it, but maybe you do. He said, I'm waiting at our polka dot spot. I have no idea. Carol, I'm going out, bye! Clearly she does. I hope he comes. He said he was waiting. Maybe he isn't gonna come. Miss me, Elise? Oh my god, Greg! <laughs> Looks like you did miss me. <laughs> You've gotten heavier. Oh, I may have gotten heavier, but you, you became a freaking singer! What's up with that? Well, the last time I saw you, you said your mom was going to get you to be a model. I didn't want to feel left behind. I thought that if you became a model, you would forget about me. So... I wanted to become a singer, so I could be in the same world as you. I would never forget about you. I'm glad. What's with that look? God is supposed to be all makeup, no glasses, long black hair, not all tied up. Well, right now you're seeing Elise Black. Nerdy, cynical, bookworm Elise Black. Dot is just an act. I mean... She is me, and I'm her, but I hate the fakeness of her. Well, either way, you're still my best friend I grew up with. Of course I am, but no one knows I'm Dot, and I want to keep it that way. Only the people I work with 
you and Nimoy know. Wait, Nimoy knows? Why? Well, they kind of figured it out, but they're really nice. They're keeping my secret safe and protect me from the press and stuff. Nimoy isn't nice. The drummer's a prick, the guitarist is a mute, the bassist is a playboy, and the lead singer is a delinquent. Elise, you should stay away from them. Greg, after not seeing you for God knows how long, you come and start bad-mouthing my friends? This isn't the Greg I know. You don't know them like I do. Elise, I just saved you. I paid the press to keep quiet. I did it for you. Not for Nimoy. You're innocent. You're just being used by Nimoy. I'm not being used by them! That day when the press took those pictures, Nimoy was helping me avoid my mother because I wanted a day off! They're a bad influence! Greg, please, you don't know them! I do know them. Better than you think. Right now, my songs are number two, and Nimoy is ahead of me. I need to be aware of my competition. Competition has nothing to do with who they are! Something has changed in you, Elise. No, you've changed. I'm the same as I was three years ago. Look, I didn't come here to fight with you. I thought we could get along fine, but no, you have to drag your work with you everywhere you go. Maybe you should. I'm doing fine in my area. I'm number one by being who I am. Where are you? You said so yourself. You're not you. You're just playing dress up. Then fine. I'm done playing dress up. Elise, where are you going? To prove to you that I can make it big on my own. Okay, and add a little bit of basil. That should just about do it. Got to let it simmer and wait for Elise. Welcome, Carol. I want to be Dot. All the time. I want to become Dot.